GameMaker just announced the first update of 2023 called 2023.1, marked by easy collisions, crispier fonts, and new audio functionality. Let's see what's inside. This time, they're leading with easy collisions with slopes. I've already covered this feature in a video that you can check out on my channel, and when it was first announced, it was kind of hidden in the notes. This time, they brought it front and center and for good reason. It's a complete game changer for those who are just getting started with game development and game maker. Move and Collide makes collisions super simple as you give it a horizontal and vertical speed to move by, as well as an object to avoid, and the rest just kind of works. It's a powerful function and it's kind of a big deal. They also added a few more optional arguments that weren't present in the beta, but I haven't had time to go through them yet. They've also added crispier runtime fonts. You can now enable SDF rendering in your font using font enable SDF, which allows your font to stay nice and pristine as you scale it up. It's worth noting that not all fonts look great scaled up, but it's a huge step in the right direction for better font support. They've also added static structs for functions. A static variable is initialized once and can be read or modified at any moment. They're especially useful for constructor functions, where static variable is shared among all structs created from a constructor. They've also added a static chain, which is basically inheritance for structs. You can use is instance of to check for the parent-child relationship between structs. Audio effects are getting a lot of love lately, and this update is no exception. They've introduced the tremolo audio effect, which controls the sound's volume using a signal that goes up and down. There's a great example here of what that sound looks like. There's some adjustments to some functions that take an additional argument for more fine tuning, as well as a new audio function, audio play sound ext. This allows you to play a sound and customize it with a struct to change its properties. This change should be super useful and I can't wait to put it into my current projects. The update then lists out some additional features. You can now add spine SWF to any texture groups in your project. There are some new and powerful array functions with array get index, array contains, and array contains ext. And now the base runtime only includes the platform that you specifically build for. And last but not least, you can now disable obfuscation in the HTML5 runner. That means that whenever you're debugging your game in HTML5, errors are going to be a lot easier to hunt down now. Whereas before, GameMaker just kind of turned your code into illegible mush behind the scenes. GameMaker 2023.1 is available now for download. Thanks for watching and sticking around to the end of this video. If you want to watch another one that I think you'll like, click here. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos of mine, hit the subscribe button.